I'm attorney Jonathan Bletcher, DUI and criminal defense lawyer based in Miami, Florida. When I tell people I'm a criminal defense attorney, the most common question is, what do I do if I'm stopped for DUI? Well, the first advice I have to give you is don't drive impaired. Get a designated driver, call a cab. Most restaurants and businesses will call a taxi for you. It beats in the long run the expense of a DUI arrest or the potential injury that could result from a DUI. So if you see those blue lights behind you, what do you do? Pull your car over carefully, slowly, turn the engine off, put your hands on the steering wheel, and don't make any sudden movements. Be respectful to the police officer, say as little as possible. Anything you say is gonna be twisted against you. If they ask where you're coming from, you don't have to answer that question. You can simply say what the importance of it is. Have your driver's license, registration, and insurance documents readily available. An officer may claim that you try to fumble through your wallet, so have that stuff ready. You don't have to perform physical sobriety tests either. If the officer detects an odor of alcohol, he's gonna want you to do them. At that point, there's a 90% chance that you're gonna be arrested, so why give him any more evidence against you? Don't give them anything, and anything that you do from this time forward is gonna be used against you. No matter how well you think you've done on the physical tests, unless you're a ballet dancer, you're not gonna perform the officer's subjective standards correctly. They set the bar very high and the tests are designed for failure. There's 143 things an officer can count against you on these tests. If you don't do five of them perfectly, you're gonna end up in jail. Don't make any admissions or statements regarding how much you had to drink, where you're going, where you're coming from. And you don't have to perform the physical sobriety test at the roadside either. You don't have to perform a breath test either, either. But remember that if you do refuse to take a breath test, DMV is gonna suspend your license for a year. For over 30 years and over 3,000 cases, I've defended otherwise good people who've been arrested for DUI. I'm Jonathan Bletcher.